We begin tonight with new details released out of Black Hawk County. Authorities now say that preliminary evidence leads them to believe the remains found yesterday are those of 9-year-old Elizabeth Collins and 11-year-old Lyra Cook. State medical examiners are still working to positively identify the bodies. Hunters discovered the remains at the Seven Bridges Wildlife Area in Bremer County, less than 30 miles from where the girls disappeared in July. A news conference just wrapped up within the hour, and CBS 2's Brian Scott is there live with the latest. Brian. Scott, the newest information here out of Black Hawk County, as you said, very somber news for everyone up here in Evansdale. They're telling us that they do, in fact, believe, investigators do, in fact, believe that the bodies they found yesterday were that of Elizabeth Collins and Lyric Cook. They still can't say that for sure. They are awaiting DNA evidence to come in from the state. However, they say their biggest inclination on this is that the bodies do match the size of children that age, and also they've got no other missing person cases that would match this kind of profile in the state. So they are thinking that it is likely them, although that is unconfirmed. They are also, though, confirming today that they did find those bodies yesterday in Bremer County. Yes, at the Seven Bridges Conservation Area. Uh, we were there earlier this morning and did see DCI rolling up into that area. And that's one other thing they did tell us here is that they do have a lot of people continuing to work on this case, and they're hoping to find not only positive identification soon, but also a reason why this happened. We have plenty of people that are out there. They're well trained. They know what they're doing. And so we'll, we will gather whatever is out there. Now, at this point, they are going to stop doing the uh, regularly scheduled uh, press conferences here. They aren't going to hold any more of these. They say they're simply going to let us know when they have confirmed the identities of these two bodies. Um, tonight, I know folks here in Evansdale are planning a vigil just across the street from the police station for both Lyric and Elizabeth. Of course, our Kelsey Miner will be on the scene of that, as well as uh, the rest of the reaction from definitely the heartbreak, heartbroken Evansdale community up here. We are live in Evansdale tonight. Brian Scott, CBS 2 News.